Hey guys, Will here with Media Place, and in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the video and audio editing features inside of Media Place. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. So right now I'm inside my video folder and I've got a bunch of video clips, and I want to go ahead and trim up this surfing clip right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, and when I do select it, you'll see in the top right corner here, on my info, it brings up all the properties that are associated with this clip, as well as ratings, any tags that it may have, as well as notes that may be applied in there. Now, if I want to get to the edit page, I can either just click on the edit tab up here on the right, or if I go back to my library here, I can double click on an image or a video clip and it'll take me to the edit page itself. All right, so now let's talk about an overview of the interface itself here. All right, so in this top left corner, you've got the playback button, right? So when you plays back your video clip, I can also press spacebar to play and stop that as well. Um, I can use this cursor here to pull back or uh, scrub forward on my clip itself. Um, I've got this that scrubs all the way to the end of the clip, and if I click the left one, it goes all the way to the beginning. So super useful features inside of Media Place. Now, if I want to trim this clip, right, maybe say, for example, I want to trim it so it's only a small portion of the clip that I want out of this video, I can select Trim, and it brings up the Trim box, and I can set an endpoint here, and I'd say that I want to start him like right here, right? So then I can start that and then set my out point and I want him to ride up the wave right there. So that's the little part and I can even play the trimmed part by clicking play trimming part right here and then it shows the exact segment that I have selected, right? So if I wanted from there, I could export out or if I want, I could crop this in a little bit more, right? Maybe I want to crop it in on him just a little bit like right here is where I really want to show. Um, you could also resize this cropping if you want. Um, and then customize it to whatever you want it to be. Or you can set ratio sizes that are already there for you, which is very efficient. I can choose a 16 by nine. Um, I can choose one for four, three. I can choose the one, one, or I can choose the nine by 16. So depending on what I'm trying to use this for, for whatever platform, whether it be YouTube, another social platform that uses different formatting, different sizes, this is a very fast and efficient way to get your sizes already there. And then of course you can also customize it in the size box here to whatever you want them to be as well. All right, so let's go ahead and move to the right side of the screen here and let's get this set up for an export. All right, so right now I'm under video and under format, I can save it as an MP4, I can save it as a WebM, or I can save it as an MOV. And with both WebM and MOV, it allows you to save out the alpha to keep the transparency, which is a really cool feature. All right, so I'm gonna stick with the MP4 and after that you have quality settings, right? So do you wanna save this as a very high quality? So basically, whatever resolution and file size you have inside a media place, you can export that as is. Or if you need to take it down a little bit, maybe you wanna compress to half because maybe you need to, to meet certain file requirements, a certain size, then you know bring your quality down a little bit to help compress some of that size to help you out in whatever your project may need, right? Uh, another cool feature inside of here is the resize, right? So if I click resize, it'll allow me to change my uh, aspect ratio of my video um, as I export, right? So it could be, I could go from 1080, I can go to 4K, um, I could go down to 720. Um, just depending on how big my file size is will determine um, where I, if I can scale up or scale down, right? Um, but that's a really cool feature to resize your video really quick, right? All right, and then after that we've got rotate, right? So I could rotate this uh, minus 90 degrees, 90 degrees or 180 degrees. And so whatever, whichever one I set this to, when I export, that's the direction it will be when I view that, right? Um, and then from there, you can see the trimming options here, right? So the properties from that. So I'm trimming from um, nine seconds to 11 seconds, and I've got a duration of 1.69 seconds, right? So it tells me all the high level stuff from this segment here that I'm gonna trim out. And then of course, it tells me I'm cropping out um, that, and these are the amount of pixels that I've got going on. All right, so now I'm ready to save it out, and how do I wanna do that? So I can save it as a new file, and it'll save it right next to the original. Um, so I'll have both files together, right? The original and then my trimmed version. Um, so I can just call this, uh, let's call this trimmed uh, surfer clip. All right, so now I could save this, and if I save that, it's saving this uh, 1.69 second clip in my library there. And if I clicked overwrite, it would overwrite the actual clip that's there, and then I wouldn't have my full length clip anymore. All I would have is my trimmed version. And then of course I can export out this um, outside of Media Place. Um, so I can export it to my hard drive. I could export it to um, export it out and then put it in the cloud. 
um, share it with whoever I need to, a client, whoever that may be, right? So there's a lot of different ways that you can save, overwrite, export out um, to help your project needs. Now, if I go back to uh, my library here, you'll see that I've got the surfing clip. Here's the original, and I did have a rotation clicked on it. So now you can see that that's the rotation it did. It's upside down. Um, but if I click that, you'll see that now it's playing um, that little short segment that I have kind of inverted there, which is pretty cool, right? So that is how you can um, utilize the edit page inside of Media Place for video clips, right? So now let's kind of navigate to where we're going to talk about audio, right? How can I extract an audio clip out of a video really fast inside of Media Place? All right, so I'm going to go to this waterfalls clip here. I'm going to bring this up. All right, now if I play this, let's hear what it sounds like. All right, so we've got the sound effects of the water playing in the waterfall, right, which is cool. So I wanna extract that to use that in maybe a video I'm working on, right? So I can go here and click on audio, and I'm presented with some options that I can format this um, audio file as. I can format it as an MP3, and if I format it as an MP3, I get bitrate options, right? So I can save this as low as 96 kilobits per second, which is poor, right? Um, all the way up to 320 kilobits, kilobits per second for a high quality MP3, right? Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and choose Wave, right? Cause I want the true audio that came with this file. Um, so I'm gonna select Wave and then I wanna save it out, right? So first I wanna go ahead and name this, right? So let's just call this Waterfall SFX, right? Now I can, I'm gonna go ahead and save it here, right? Save new and what that does is it creates a secondary clip, right? So it's just saving the audio into my library in the same place that the video clip is, right? Which is pretty cool. I can also export this outside of Media Place, right? So if I wanna save this clip um, to my hard drive right away, or I wanna take that and put it in the cloud and then share it with whoever I need to, I can do that um, and make that asset available. All right, so now if I come back and exit out to the library, you'll see that here is our waterfall sound effects audio only clip. And you can see that here in the info page, it's reading as an audio waveform, right? And it's 20 seconds long and it is a wave file, right? So, and then here is our original video. So that's a quick and efficient way to extract audio straight out of a video clip in Media Place and then bring it into your library or export it out um, for external use, right? So it's pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and talk about how to edit an audio file inside of Media Place. All right, so I'm gonna go to my music folder and I've got several different music tracks in here and I'm gonna select this track called Roads. All right, now I wanna make a cut so I have a small portion of this track and not the whole thing. So I'm gonna go over here to the top right, right? And I can click on edit or I can click exit here. I can double click the audio file and it takes me into the audio editing section of Media Place. All right, so now let's click on trim because I only want this back half of the song. So I'm gonna move the trim box using my mouse, uh, left clicking and dragging. And then I'm gonna come to the beginning of this trim box and you'll see it kind of turn into like a double sided arrow. If I left click and drag to the right here, it trims it in for me and then I can start it right about here. And then I can always play my trimmed clip back by clicking this button right here. All right, so I know that when I export now, I do have the option to save as an MP3 or a wave, right? So MP3 again, remember you have the options to save as low as 96 kilobits per second, as high as 320. And then you can also save as the actual raw wave file itself, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. And then we're gonna, it shows you your in and out points that you have for your clip to your trimming. And then it sets the duration, right? So this trimmed clip is gonna be 27 seconds long, almost 28 seconds. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rename this, and this is gonna be the Rhodes uh, trimmed clip, right? And then I can save this out as is right here. I can also have the option to overwrite my actual audio file itself. So if I don't want this whole audio file anymore, I just wanna save over it with this trim clip, I can do that with the overwrite. Or I can export this out um, to my hard drive or and then take that and put it in the cloud. So there's multiple ways that you can save these files, right? So let's go ahead and go exit out of here and you'll see that here is my Rhodes trim clip. It's 27 seconds long. And then here is the actual full length track, right? So multiple ways to do things, but a really cool and efficient way to kind of trim up clips or audio clips inside of Media Place. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about how to create GIFs, right? So let's go ahead and navigate back to our video folder here. And let's go ahead and click on the video clip of this guy dancing here, All right? So if I play this back, you'll see he's kind of starting some dance moves and I want to turn this into a GIF, right? 
So what I can do is, let's find a cool little spot here. Maybe this little spot right here, we can turn this into a nice little gif. So let's start it here. Let's trim it first. And let's drag this in so that I can start him right there. And let's take the out point and then let's do it right there. All right, so we've got a nice little trim spot. And now let's go ahead and click on GIF, right? And then I have the option to resize this. I'm just gonna leave it at 720. Um, and then I can choose how many frames per second I want. I'm just gonna leave it at, um, at eight right there. And then it's telling me I'm trimming the clip from six seconds uh, to 6.69 seconds. And it's a total of 0.33 seconds long. So it's a pretty quick, quick little uh, clip, right? So I can just call this, let's just call this uh, dancing GIF, right? And I can save this right here or I can export it out um, to my hard drive, right? So let's just go ahead and save it right here and see what that looks like. So it's saving it out. And then now if I go back and exit here, you'll see that here is my dancing GIF. And then there's my little GIF that I created, which is pretty cool, right? So a super fun way to kind of play with video clips and make some fun little GIFs out of it all together, right? So pretty cool. All right, so now let's talk about how to export still frames from a video clip inside a media place. All right, so let's go ahead and select this skateboarding clip that I've got here and let's double click it and go to our edit page and then let's select images. All right, now I can choose where on my timeline I want to start this still frame export, right? Whether it's one frame or multiple frames, um, I can choose where I want that to be. So let's just go ahead and start it right about here, right before he does his little kickflip thing. Now I'm gonna choose, instead of a JPEG, let's save it as a PNG. And let's go ahead and name it and let's just call this skate. And then of course you do have the option to resize this file. Um, so I could resize this right now, it's 1080. I could take it down to 720. I probably wouldn't want to scale this one up because it's it'll just kind of maybe degrade a little bit. So I would just keep it at 1080. Um, but it's really cool that the option is there to be able to have that flexibility to resize on the fly. And then here I can choose how many frames I want, whether I just want to export this one frame by itself or do I want to export multiple. So let's save out 15 frames, right? And see what that looks like. So now I can hit save here and it's going to save it into my video folder. Um, all these 15 frames from this sequence, right? And then you can export out to your hard drive or to uh, and then take those and put them in the cloud or share them with external partners, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of here. And then we can see that if I scroll up that here are the first frames. And so you'll see that here is frame one. So now if I, if you look over here in the top right corner, you'll see that if I scroll through these things, it plays out the sequence of the frames in that order. So it's pretty cool a way to export out still frames inside of media place. All right, so that is a really in-depth overview of the video and audio editing features inside of media place, super powerful stuff, very efficient and time-saving features that are built into this program. Um, look out for more videos coming soon. And as always, keep creating.